Good morning guys, it's Jada Jo. Welcome to or back to my channel. I am a freshman at USC studying acting and I always get the question of how do you do acting class online? So I thought that it would be a fun little video to show you guys what it's like to be an acting student online during this pandemic. So I have my first class in 30 minutes, it's intro to acting, I have to do a scene with my partner, so I'm going to show you guys what that's like. Yay! <laughs> So for my scene, <clears throat> I have to yell a little bit. So I'm gonna do a little vocal warm up before class just because my voice absolutely is not warmed up enough to yell right now. So I'm gonna do that for a quick sec. Also, I have an accent in my scene. I don't know how much of it I'm gonna put into this video. So I'm probably gonna do a little warm up for my accent too, just to get in the right tongue. Does that make sense? Yeah, so I'll see you guys in class. We have another air sound which turns to the diphthong air. So he bet his bed on the horse whale bread. He bet his bed on the horse whale bread. That was kind of... The was egg that good? <laughs> turns to thought he bought the bonnet. The lawyer's dog... The lawyer... <laughs> ah! The lawyer's daughter... <laughs> the lawyer's daughter... How did he say it again? To have a little snack. To have a little snack. Snack. But when he clamped... I feel like sometimes I think I really did something, and then I'm gonna watch this back and be like, Jada, that was awful. I'm trying. I did a southern accent a couple years ago, and I don't think it was that bad, but I guess I just completely lost it, because this is a struggle bus. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching me struggle through that, because that was fun. Why did I eat it like that? Minor, four deniners, you're beginning to peek and pine. Thought she ought to join his daughter, now he's sweet, he's claiming time. So for my partner and my scene, for my partner and I scene, for my partner and my scene, I think that's right, we are making it so that it looks like it's just a FaceTime call, if that makes sense. So other people in our class are pretending like they're not actually over Zoom, even though they clearly are, and they're pretending like they're in the same room, even though they're not. But my partner and I decided to make our scene into a Zoom call format so that when people are watching, it's just like they're watching our Zoom call, if that makes sense. And it also, it's a lot easier to really believe and get into the scene when, you know, you don't have to pretend like they're standing right there when they're clearly not, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I just wanted to jump in and say that. Yes, I'm waving around a giant knife as I say that. Um, but yeah, it's time for class now, so I actually mean it this time. I will see you guys in class. Um, Jada Jo. Is Wednesday, like, the final final? The midterm final final? Yeah, like, for the grade final? <laughs> Is that on Wednesday? <laughs> you can't handle that? Are you ready for that? No. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. I heard three answers. I heard no. <laughs> yeah. I can be if I have to be. So the answer is yes. The answer is yes. You ready? Okay. <laughs> I will be on Wednesday. No, no. Are you asking me, is the answer yes, or are you saying the answer, are you, is that a, a, a question, yeah. or is it affirming? I'm confirming, the answer is yes. Are you confirming, or are you <laughs> affirming? That you're ready. Oh, that I'm ready? Yeah. I was asking you if the answer was yes to the question that I asked you. <laughs> is the midterm on Wednesday? 
for the final grade. Yes. Okay. Got it. And I'm asking you, are you ready? On Wednesday, I will be ready. Okay. All right. So, like ready? Like you want to be the first one up ready or? You know, I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm not that ready. Uh, that but, type of thing. And then yeah. I have watched every single video on YouTube about Southern accent. But there's one line that I just cannot. Every time I do it, it never comes out right. Yeah. And that's don't go. I I don't know why. I don't want to say I can't do it because I know that I can't. I just can't figure out how to say it right. Here, let me hear it, Jim. I. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds the same as when I'm talking in my normal voice. Don't go. It sounds exactly the same. Say it in your regular voice. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. <laughs> Say it again. Don't go. Okay, that's the southern accent? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me hear you normal. Don't go. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any, any relatives from the south? Because it's not. I Don't go. There it is. That's okay, it. that didn't sound different to me, but... <laughs> it sounds different to us. It sounds different, yeah. Okay. Yeah, why well, couldn't you just stay put? You knew I was coming back to get you. What do you think it's like sitting in a tin trailer for weeks on end with the wind ripping through it, waiting around for the butane to arrive, hiking down the laundromat in the rain? Do you think that's thrilling or something? <laughs> I bought you all those magazines. What magazines? I bought you a whole stack of those fashion magazines before I left. All right, it's now a few hours later. I had acting class this morning, as you guys saw. We didn't have as much time to work on our scene as I hoped we would, so I'm gonna be doing a little bit of work on it right now. My scene partner isn't able to meet, but I'm just gonna do some individual character work, which, I mean, that's a very broad term, but I'm just gonna be working on my character's background story to better inform how this character would react in the scene that we're performing. Um, yeah, our final's on Wednesday. I don't know if I didn't hear him say this ever, or I just didn't realize how soon that was, but I'm a little nervous. Um, I'm a perfectionist, and so I want everything to go exactly as I planned, but that's the thing about acting. It can't, it never will, because acting is about being present, and whatever happens is right for that moment, and you can't go into it with any expectation. So that's something that is constantly challenging me as a human, because I am someone that wants to plan everything out and know exactly what's going to happen. But that's why I love acting, because it challenged me in that way to be present and to just let what's going to happen happen, you know? I don't know. I love, I love it. it. Acting teaches me about life and about myself as I'm working to find my characters. I'm finding myself every single day and learning so much about life. I don't know, guys. Acting's the best. Even though it's online right now, it's the best, it's the best. So yeah, I'm gonna go plow through some character work now. So talk to you later. Okay, hi again. Every time I come on here, I'm in a different outfit, even though it's the same day. But I finished my character analysis a while ago, ate some dinner, and I thought I'd let you guys in on another thing that we're doing for one of my theater classes. We have to analyze Shakespeare and you know, I really wish that I was one of those people that just understood Shakespeare. I'm like, yeah, of course, this line means this. But I'm not. I'm absolutely not. And we have to write a whole essay about the smallest of paragraphs from the book that we're reading. And the point of it being small is that you have to go into very, very, very specific detail about each word and the sound and the rhythm and the... I don't even know, but we got into breakout rooms during the class and I expect everyone on the breakout room to, you know, affirm my feeling of being super lost and everyone else in the class understands. Wow! I spent about six hours writing my essay and then I sent it to my, I don't even know who she is, like associate teacher. I'm just gonna call her that. You can send it to her and she'll edit it before you turn it into the, to, for the final draft. And I sent it to her after spending six hours writing it and her response was, 
Great start. If that doesn't sum up how this school year is going, I don't know what does. Just to give you an idea of what my paper sounds like, this is my thesis. Tell me it's not the longest run-on sentence you've ever heard. As Viola delivers her soliloquy uncovering the complexity of this love triangle, commas and question marks are used to express emotional turmoil, alliteration and stressed vowels to reveal moments of deep affliction, and particular words associated with body image to expose Viola's objectifying beliefs around love, dash, all unveiling the power of one's outward appearance. That is the longest sentence I've ever written. Guys, place your bets. What do you think I'm gonna get on this essay? <laughs> okay, it is now the next day. I think I'm gonna end the video here. I think that was a good snippet into my life as an online USC acting student. Obviously, it's different than what it would be like in person, but all my teachers are amazing, and we're all just trying to make the most of it and continue to learn and grow given the circumstances. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. USC is the best. Um, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!